So I'll be trying to try and this class will learn how to make this beautiful gypsy dress with cold shoulder cape. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you would like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this gypsy dress, I'm going to be working with this entire fabric. So I have this first print. The print is similar, you can I see. So the second print has two designs. So it has the first one, which is very similar to the first fabric that we're working with. And then on the hem of the fabric, it has another one with a similar print, but in this case, it has flowers. So I'll be working with these three different prints, this one, this plain one, and this pink one. So we're going to be mixing them together. But first, we're going to work on the upper part. So the upper part of this body, I want it to be a bustier. So it depends on how you want to you want this to be I will, i'm going to be creating a yoke for this because it's going to be having a flare a, like a cape and i want the cape inserted inside the yoke but you don't have to make yours as a yoke you can just place it on your bodies directly so for this i already drafted my basic bodies here the next thing is to adapt this to a bustier pattern so to do this i'm working with a bust pan of nine inches nine inches very by two is going to give me four and a half inches so i'm just going to mark the four and a half inches here and also here so here being my bust point my bust point this is the ample line this is the bust point this is the under bust and this is the waist line okay so here i'm going to mark four and a half inches on the bust point and also on the under bust and i'm going to make that into a straight line okay so from there now i'll go over to the shoulder and i get the midpoint of the shoulder and connect that point to my bust point so the next thing is for me to take my dart so for the dart i'm going to be taking a dart of one inch on both sides on the waistline and also on the under bust and i'm going to make that into a straight line and on my bust point i'm going to go down by half an inch and using the cuff side of my ruler i'm going to connect that to my bust point just like this okay so now this is going to be our data and it's going to go up. I'm going to take my measurements for my bodies. So the bust point on the bust area, the bust is 44 inches, where by 4 is going to give me 11 inches. So I have 11 inches here. And for the waist, the waist I'm working with is 36 inches. So 36 inches divided by 4 is going to give me around 9 inches. So here, I'll mark what I have here and this is around three and a half inches. I'm just going to skip the dots and continue my measurement. So I have nine inches here. I'm going to connect that and then add my allowance. You can add your same allowance on your pattern or you can just add it on your fabric. So I'm adding one and a half inches same allowance to that and I'm going to connect them together. Okay. so that's my pattern so now i want to add a bust that of two inches to this so now i'll connect that to my bust point and this is also going to go off so the next thing is for me to take my yoke so it depends on how low you want the cape to start from so I want it a bit high, so from my shoulder point here, I'm just going to mark 5 inches. And the reason why I want to add a yoke to this is because I want the pattern of that yoke to be different from what I'm going to do. The, the, the fabric I'm using for the yoke, I want it different from what I'm using. So you can actually make your yoke in form of a design or you can just leave it straight. It's total 
so i can leave it straight like this so i can just make it have like a mini sweetheart effect so to do that i'm just going to go that by one inch now and then i'm going to reconnect my yoke this is totally optional so now the next thing so this upper part now becomes my yoke so to tighten this upper part here uh, i'm just going to half like half an inch on both sides and then I'm going to okay so like i was saying i'll tighten it with half an inch on both sides on the upper part here and then i'm going to connect that also to my first point so i'll do the same thing on this other side so now this is going to make me have a shortage of one inch here remember i'm going to store the yoke and there's no shortage on the yoke so i just had the one inch back here and then i'm going to reconnect my apple okay so this is how i need to do for the first for the front bodies i'm going to cut this half now and then work on the back bodies also okay so now i'm going to cut out the front bodies i move the yoke first so i just set it aside and then i'm going to cut out my dart okay, so at this point i can just close the first dart and hold it with a tip So I've cut it out. This is the first piece and this is the second piece. I'm just going to set it aside. So for the back now, it's simple. It's just the regular back bodies. The only difference is the yoke that I want to insert for the back also. And like I said, the yoke is optional. So just like the front, I'll measure 5 inches from my shoulder point. And then I'm going to connect it. I'm not going to include any style line. And then this just becomes my yoke and I'm going to cut it out. So that is that for the back. The only modification I want to do is the neckline. So I want the neckline to be in form of a boot neckline. So I'm going to bring in the yoke for the front and back. So I have the regular 3 inches by 3 inches for the front. I'm just going to increase the width by 1 inch or one and a half inches so that it can form like a boot neckline for me so i have increased it by one and a half inches and then the depth also i'm going to increase it by one inch so that's going to leave me it's five and a half by four inches and then i'm going to use my my curve to connect it I do okay so i'm going to connect it like this so the same thing i've done for the back for the front i'm also going to increase the neck width for the back by one and a half inches and then i have three inches by one before so i'm just going to increase this by one inch or so or you can even make it one and a half what is lower then i'm also going to connect this and i'll cut it so that's just the little modification that I want to do on the neckline. So I'll take all of this on my fabric now and cut it out on my fabric. And I'm also going to cut out the lining. And then I'll bring it back to show us the sewing process. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut out my main fabric now. So I placed the pattern on it. And then I added half an inch allowance on the other upper part alone because I already have my seam allowance on the side and also on the hem. So this is the back and these are the two front panels.
okay so i also cut out my soft wadding for padding it you can also use the red made bra cup and i'm going to use my iron to fuse it together so if you don't know how to do this i already have a tutorial on it on the channel so you can just check that out so that you can know how to cut out your wadding for padding and this is the yoke so this is the yoke for the back and this is the yoke for the front so like i said i used this pattern with flower for the yoke that was why i actually divided it so i used this pattern with flower for the yoke and this without flower for the lower part of the upper bodies so now i'm going to set this aside so that we can work on the lower part so the total length that i'm working with is so the pattern is going to be in four in two in in three layers this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one okay so to know the length remember this is going to start from the half length we already have the half length which we have cut out so the total length for my half length is total length that i'm working with that's my full length from shoulder to the floor so the total length is 58 inches and my half length that's the one i have already cut my half length is 16 inches so if i deduct 58 from 16 inches i'm going to be left with 42 inches okay so which means all of my lower parts which are these three tiers they are going to be 42 inches by in total so it depends on how you want them to be for me but for me i want it to be of equal length so what i'm going to do is just divide these 42 inches by three and that's going to give me around 14 inches for each of the length so the length of my of this tier is each of them is going to be 14 inches in length so now i'm going to add one inch seam allowance to it because i'm still going to join them back together so the length is going to be 15 inches in total so the next thing now is to get the width so to get the width that's how long it's going to be to create your gathers i'm going to be working with my waist measurement the waist measurement that i worked with was 36 inches so for the first one i'm going to do 36 inches multiply by two for the second one i'm going to do 36 inches multiply by three and for the last one i'm going to do 36 inches multiply by four so this is going to be the length of the strip that i'm going to cut out and the this is going to be the width and the length is going to remain the same which is 15 15 15 so now i'm going to go ahead now and cut this out on my ankara fabric okay so i'm going to have to cut them this is going to be the first layer which is this and that's 36 multiplied by 2 that's 72 inches so i have a fabric of length 15 by 72 inches for the first layer and then for the second layer i'm using this flowered fabric and that's 36 multiplied by 3 and that's 108 so i have a fabric of length 15 inches by 108 so if your fabric is not enough you just join them together so that i can make up your 108 inches and then for the last one that's 36 multiplied by 4 and that's 145 so i have a fabric of 15 inches by 145 so now i'm going to go ahead now and gather all of them together so i'll gather this to this and then gather this to this so that i can have my full layers together because i don't want this to be too long so i'll go ahead and do that off camera and then for the upper part also i'm going to fuse my stay my word into this and then i'm going to sew the lining and the main fabric separately so i'm going to sew the 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 boy that together for the front i'll also do that for the lining also and then for the back remember we did not cut it out so i'm just going to hold my line my that here so i'll all go over to the machine and do all of that now and then i'll bring back to show us what we have so i'm gonna have to hold the that for the back bodies as you can see so this is the first one this is the other one and these are the linings so for the front also i fused my wording to it and then i sew it so this is the main fabric and the line so you just need to open your stitch now and iron it flat so after that i'm going to bring in my yoke for the front and the back and I'm going to sew the yoke to the main bodies. So for the front, I'm going to bring in the yoke now. Remove the yoke from the 
lining and then I'm going to sew it. So like I said, you can see that I have different fabric here because that is how I want it. So I'll go ahead and sew this also and then I'll bring it back to show us what we have. Okay, so I've sewn the yoke to it and also did the same with the lining. So I placed the lining against the main fabric and then I used them to turn each other. So I just sew it on the neckline. I used it to turn the arm. Oh, remember we are not adding the sleeves to this. So I also use it to turn this side. So you can see this is the front, the front and you can see how neat it is. I also did the same thing for the back. I placed the lining against the main fabric and then I used them to turn each other inside house. So I just left the waist area and also the shoulder i turned all other places so the next thing now is to turn the is to sew the shoulder together so to do this i'm just going to place right side of my fabric against each other like this and then i'm just going to dip my hand from the lining to bring it inwards like this then i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew so you can see what so just dip your hand inside and bring it out like this. So I'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it. So by the time I sew it, it's going to also be neat. So I'll do the same thing for the other side also. And then I'm going to join it on the side with my seam allowance. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn the shoulder. And you can see how neat the shoulder is also looking. So after turning the shoulder, I used my seam allowance to join the sides together and this is what the upper part is looking like so now for the cape you're going to take the measurements of your round shoulder and you're going to use that to cut out a 360 degree flare so i've cut out my flare it's a 360 degree flare and the length of the first one is the length is five and a half inches so i added one inch seam allowance to sew it on the lower part and also on the upper part i also cut out the lining and then i use them to turn up each other neatly as you can see so it's two flat the first the longest one is five and a half inches and the shortest one is two inches shorter okay so the shortest is three and a half inches like i said so it's two inches shorter so now i'm going to sew this following my yoke line Okay, so I just place them on each other and then I'm going to sew it. So because it's neatly done, you can just directly place it like this and sew or you can just turn it and then sew. But I'm just going to place it directly and then sew on it neatly like this, following this yoke line that I have so i'll start from the back like this and then i'm going to note the midpoint okay so you're going to note the midpoint of this yoke okay so i've noted the midpoint of the of the cape now and then i'm placing it at the center front so you can see me holding it with my pin so i'm going to take the two together and take it following this yoke line to the side like this and then i'm just going to pin it down then after taking it to the side i'll go over to the back also and then take the two end here the last one and then i'm going to pin it to the yoke of the back so the excess that i have here is where the arm is going to go through the excess that you have is where your hand goes through Okay, so I pinned this round as you can see. I pinned it from the center back, I stopped here, and then from the center front of the midpoint, I pinned it to the armhole area. So the excess that I have here is where the ham is going to go through. So now I'll take this to the sewing machine now and just sew it very close. So I've gone ahead to sew it now. You can see what it looks like okay and i sew it very close so you can barely see my seam line but you can also turn it and sew it then it slips over but i just like it like this because i've neatly turned this side so i'm just going to sew this also so that they can stay together so this is where the hand goes in for the two sides so this is what it looks like on the inside and you can see that it is also very clean so now I'm going to bring the lower part that I've already gathered together. It's quite big, so 
this is the first layer gathered to my waist measurement then the second layer is gathered to the first layer and then the third layer is also gathered to the second layer so now i'm going to sew this to i'm going to sew the first layer to the waistline of my of my upper bodies and then i'm going to close it on the back and fix my zipper so i'll do this and bring it back to show us the zipper is fixed now and the lower part is also sewn so this is the first layer the second and the last layer so this is what it looks like on the back you can see that the zipper is fixed and you make sure that when you're fixing your zipper all those important points match so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like so this is what the final outfit looks like you can see the both neckline that we have there and our flare double flare cape and also these are the layers of the gypsy dress it's a very beautiful dress and it's very simple to make i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye